Hey there guys, Grow Strength The Next here again. Johnny the Strength Coach back with you today. And this time it's all about growing your chest. And for those of you who have been struggling to grow your chest, specifically without dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells, whatever bells in your life, you've been doing push-ups, you've been doing incline, decline push-ups, you've been doing wide grip push-ups, you've been doing archer push-ups, all the push-ups that we showed you on this channel. So go back to the previous videos if you haven't already seen them. And if they're not growing, one of the biggest reasons why that could be is due to poor posture and it's not necessarily your own fault why you've got poor posture or even anyone's fault you might you know biomechanically just not be built to grow a big chest because of your uh, particular size of your chest or the narrowness of your shoulders but we can help that everyone can get a bigger chest some people have slightly bigger chest than others genetically but that's just the way it is so if you are struggling to grow your chest and you've been doing everything let's look at posture once you've improved your posture, all these exercises will massively increase the size of your chest. And of course, you'll get much better posture. So you won't necessarily have back pain or neck pain and things like that. And no, before you ask, it's not the face pull. Mr. Athlete next can keep his exercise. I'm going with the dumbbell pullover. So what is a dumbbell pullover? Essentially, it's a shoulder extension exercise over a... You can either do it over a bench, you can do it over a chair, over whatever it is, as long as you can get your body on the bench, a type of bench or a similar bench. There's two ways you can do it. You can either lie completely flat across the bench or you can lie across it. What does a dumbbell pullover do? Well, if you're sat at a desk for a long period of time, doo -doo -doo -doo, as you can see here, my, I'm, I'm maybe exaggerating a little bit, but not much. My shoulders are internally rotated. So essentially what that means is they're kind of pulling in a little bit. So it's almost like depression of the body. And what we want to do is open it up, get the shoulders back, get the chest locked. So of course the face ball can do that, externally rotate the shoulders, but another one is the dumbbell pullover, where you bring your arms above your head with a weight. It doesn't matter what the weight is, it can be a dumbbell, barbell, kettlebell, or simply just a can of beans or whatever. Just as long as there's enough uh, weight on it that it stretches your torso out and what that's going to do is stretch the sternal head of the chest so there's a clavicle head which is the upper part of the chest and the sternal head which is where most of the growth comes from when you see people with big chests so that's what you want to stretch once that's stretched out and in a much better position your shoulders back your chest is a much more elongated and it's a lot more active so it's activating all the muscle fibers in the chest itself then when you go back to doing push-ups when you go back to do uh, to the gym eventually in several weeks, you're going to have a much better posture. So that is going to increase your chest size. And also because of better posture, you might start actually benefiting from strength goals. So strength goals um, obviously being you can just aim for bigger weight, more weight, or essentially you're just aiming for more volume and trying to get more you know, push-ups out. So that's like an endurance goal. Um, this, of course, is going to help with everything in life. It's not just... Or growing a big chest so if you think this is just for the guys ladies this is for you as well especially if you're sitting down you know watching Netflix Ozark at a desk you know you haven't got a lot of time to move around apart from the occasional walk this is going to help everyone it'll help with uh, neck pain back pain all those type of things so make sure you get to doing that exercise let me know how we're getting on with that particular exercise and of course if you would like more videos like this a muscle building series without actually building the muscle itself because the dumbbell pullover isn't essentially a going to build the size of your chest it's just going to stretch the muscle out and give you the activation you need in order to grow your chest so combine that with incline decline regular push-ups weighted push-ups barbell kettlebell isolation machines when you're back at the gym combination of exercises is best to grow muscles do not stick to just one thing of course, everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses, so work on your weaknesses and your strengths too, and you'll get much better results. Now, if you do like this kind of video a bit more, uh, question up top, do you want me to do more kettlebell workouts, martial arts workouts, or do you want more instructional tutorial videos that are gonna help you long-term increase every aspect of your training environment? And of course, yoga video coming out soon as well. Steph's been a little bit unwell today, so hopefully we'll get that video out for you tomorrow. If not, it'll be out in the next couple of days. So don't worry. 
you guys are going to get that yoga video. And of course, yoga is uh, great for building mobility, building strength in the core. And of course, that's going to help long term for your weightlifting or uh, bench pressing and your posture. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you'll uh, see you in that next video. It's not a game, it's a rat's thing.